I have a question also for you, Pete. Uh, you, have, you have this the, the ministry at the healing center, and I know that you, you have impacted the, the medical community as you are yourself a doctor. And uh, you have a voice in this area, and I wanted to, to ask you, uh, we know God is using the doctors to bring uh, his kingdom. But my question was, how do you find the balance, or is there actually a balance to be found between faith and healing and the medical side of healing? Uh, I don't think we need to find a balance. I think we need to work out uh, how they collaborate and work alongside each other. I, I have quite a simple understanding on this, that, that medicine is a gift from God uh, that enhances humanity. And um, the medical world, particularly this moment in time, the medical world is being celebrated. It's pressured un, in a, a, unprecedented ways. Um, and uh, I think there's no, no difference really in terms of actually pursuing uh, healing alongside that and celebrating medicine at the same time, because I believe they both come from God. And I, so I don't believe there's any, any fundamental conflict. What I think is that... that um, Christianity has to gain the trust of the medical world. Um, and uh, there are reasons that that, that has some challenges to it um, uh, from both, both sides. And uh, so we've worked hard at that, which is why we've created Heaven in Healthcare to help um, people understand how those two, two things go together. Also, our, the healing center that's been established at Eastgate for the last 10 years, we've, we've worked hard to make sure it places no stumbling blocks in front of the medical world. And it's, uh, it's, it was our aim to have that acknowledged and accepted by the medical world. And I'm pleased to say that just over 18, well, about 18 months ago, um, our healing center was accepted and acknowledged as a complementary service uh, alongside our local health services. And so we think the word complementary is, is, a, is a much better word, it's certainly better than alternative. Um, and Again, I have a simple idea that, that God exists, therefore I pursue him. I don't know everything about him yet, so there's always more to discover. Science is very similar. Science is the discovery of what already exists and then making it work on planet Earth. So I, I don't see any uh, fundamental conflict between the two. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also realized following the, the last uh, also uh, information, uh, about the coronavirus that in, in a lot of countries the, the, the hospitals were actually uh, uh, full and uh, actually we saw that in some countries the, 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 yeah, the, the doctors were just they couldn't heal everybody and that's, uh, they did an amazing job but I also saw that people there's, some, there's a time of desperation sometimes when you actually the, the doctors cannot do anything for you and uh, I also realized that we need to bring more healing and actually back into the hospital. So how could we, yeah. how, how could we bring healing actually in, in the hospital? How could we bring, bring back that? And how could we see uh, uh, more of that, more of the power of God in hospitals? Um, great question. And it's one that we've worked hard at. I think that the scripture that helps us the most in this is that God hasn't given us a spirit of fear but love, power, and a sound mind. And so we need to make sure we dispel any fear on both sides of the equation. Um, we then need to know how to, to love the health world, uh, celebrate it, um, and then you need the wisdom to know how you actually act in the power of God in that, that particular context. And so throughout my medical career, I, I prayed for wisdom and I've seen miracles in my, my medical work context throughout my life since I was a medical student. Um, and I think if you do it wisely, then it gets accepted. So the medicine is very good at accepting good, wise practice, but it doesn't like um, unwise things. It, 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 it likes to be evidence-based, so we have to have some good reason that we're putting forward. And, uh, so I, I, and also, one of the other challenges is, is getting the Christian to believe that they're allowed to do it. There's quite a lot of fear. Um, particularly I'm in the UK, there's quite a lot of fear that you're not allowed to pray for patients, you're not allowed to bring that in. And I, I know in some countries that's actually a regulation, but, but here in the UK that's actually not true. Um, whole, a holistic view of, of, of humanity takes into account their, their spiritual care. And certainly in the UK, um, doctors, nurses, other health practitioners are expected to take somebody's spirituality into account in their holistic care. So actually we have a door that's open to us. It's just we need the wisdom to know how to go through that door. Mm, very good.